Today's Toy Spot, why we're having a look at the NECA Gremlins Series 3 Sad Gizmo. This is now Series 3 of the Mogwai series of Gremlins. I pre really prefer the Mogwais over the full-size Gremlins. Mogwais, they're very compact, something that really can sit on a shelf. They're not going to occupy a lot of space, and probably one of the reasons why I spot spin these up versus the other Gremlins. I may still go back and do some of the actual Gremlins reviews, but in the meantime, really digging the Mogwais. Now, Sad Gizmo is from the original Gremlins, I um, believe it's the first time that we've actually gotten Mogwais from the first Gremlins movie of the new, you know, Mogwais toys. We have gotten Gremlins from NECA before, but uh, definitely the new sculpts, new articulation, uh, first time for a Gremlins, uh, first Gremlins line. Um, by the way, that, that is a really sad picture of little Gizmo. He just knows that those Mogwais are up to no good. On the back... Now, actually, the the actual the, the actual picture of Gizmo looks different than the actual toy we got. His eyes are much browner than the, the orange eyes that we've almost gotten with this Gizmo. I'm almost digging this one a little bit more. Um, but you can collect them all of this series. We've got Gizmo, Stripe, and Haskins. But then there's also Daffy, George, and Mohawk from series... Well, I think George was Series 1, Daffy was Series 1, and Mohawk, I believe, was from Series 2, was he not? Same, I think he was the same wave as, um, as uh, Combat Gizmo. I'm just trying to think here. I'm just referencing my, my mind. It's a strange place sometimes. It's a very scary, scary place. Uh, but needless to say, what I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Sad Gizmo. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And way, way down there, we've got little sad gizmo. It's all right, fella. It's all right. I know those mogwais are just going to wreak havoc, aren't they? I know. And they're going to grow up to be large gremlins and start hurting and injuring people. People that you even know and care about, right? It's all right. It's all right. You'll at least survive for a sequel, my friend. You'll survive a sequel. Let's have a look at Sad Gizmo. He is a he is exactly what his name lives up to. He is quite sad. Sad, sad look on his face. Um, now he does have. I'll just wipe this away here. He does have the same trackball on the back of his head as all the other Mogwais have. Um, he is really, for the most part, a reuse of the initial Mogwai's body. Same body we have gotten for all the other uh, Mogwai figures. By this, maybe by this stage of the game, could be overused. But for someone like a Gizmo here, a little sad Gizmo, and really as a whole, I'm fine with the fact that they're reusing these bodies. My granted Mogwai collection is getting a little out of hand. And I would say maybe I'm getting near the point where I may not necessarily be collecting many more of these. But you know what? For someone like Sad Gizmo, I can certainly make an exception. He is a really cute little Mogwai. Cute in the fact that he is so, so sad. These sculpt and uh, details and paint are really what you would expect by this stage of the game. NECA did a fantastic job on the overall likeness of... Um, gizmo here. By comparison, he is much more furrier in uh, Gremlins 1 than he is in Gremlins 2. And I think the toy represents that really well. His eyes, I don't seem to have any problem with his, his trackball as I have had with some of the Mogwais in the past. Um, the trackball seems to work really well. I mean, sometimes, yeah, of course, it catches and they don't quite move in the same direction. But you know what? It 
I like the fact that they still utilize this trackball and you know I have no problems at all with it. As a comparison, just so I can show you guys, here we have the Series 3 SAD Gizmo and, and as a comparison, let me bring in the original Gizmo. Oh, somebody's playing with some packaging on the floor, it's probably one of my cats. Or it's a gremlin. Um, but you can see, yes, the SAD Gizmo is a lot furrier than the the gizmo that we got in series one something also that kind of bothers me is um the more and more i'm doing these reviews of uh, like gizmo here and the other gizmos we've gotten in the in the other waves the more i realize that this particular gizmo you know i don't really care for the paint and i know i gave him a good a good rating and i said he was a really good figure and i i still i still mean I still believe he is a very strong, strong figure, but uh, I wish they could almost go back and redo this figure because I, I like this matte coloring that they gave him. Now, also as a comparison, there is the Series 1 gizmo. There is Sad Gizmo. I'm just going to get in the stand properly there. Also, other gizmos that we have gotten is Combat Gizmo right there. We got ourselves a Comic-Con gizmo, but really it's it was the same gizmo as this guy, but I think he just had uh, glasses, 3D glasses. And then, of course, the last one we got was Christmas gizmo. Um, but you can see that he, he probably is the closest on a sculpt level to Sad Gizmo. You can see where he's got the bushier cheeks. Uh, Sad Gizmo does have that. Uh, gizmo a little, a little sexier, I think, in Gremlins 2 that... You know, he's lost some weight. He's not as roly-poly as the original gizmo here. But those are your four gizmos that we've gotten over the course of the Gremlins Mogwai series. Um, but again, like just kind of mentioning, and not really relevant to sad gizmo, but really as a, as a as in point I wanted to make about uh, the original gizmo here. I mean, even as compared to combat gizmo, I think this one just really could use an update. But, I mean, that's not really something necessarily Spot needs to mention in this particular review. But, needless to say, those are your four respected gizmos. Like so. You can see that, yes, Spot does have a fond interest in collecting the Mogwais. As you can see, again, they're really, really small. So, I mean, they don't take up a lot of space at all. Now, in the way of his articulation, aside from the trackball that Spot had already mentioned... Uh, he does have the articulated ears. Uh, they can rotate, so you can kind of have them perking up. Or I guess really for sad gizmo, you kind of would want them down. Because then you can kind of be like really, really sad. It's alright, buddy. It's alright. He does have ball-jointed shoulders. His arms would allow you to rotate them all the way around. But you just kind of be careful because the arms sit inside a groove. You can see the groove kind of is indented. We're rotating the arms all the way around. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but you might have them butt up against this one of the areas and don't force it because, you know, you don't want the arm to break off. Then this guy would be really, really sad. He does also have ball-jointed forearms and he also has ball-jointed hands. They're all really just pegged into one another. Also has ball-jointed legs. So they are the exact same Gremlin Mogwai toys as what we've gotten in the past. But again, just this nice little addition, little sad gizmo. For me, I think it's worth a pickup. I just, I'm always a sucker for a gizmo toy. And to have this guy come along, I, I think I like him a lot more than Christmas gizmo. Christmas gizmo is cool and all, he's got the hat. But I think I like the facial features better on sad gizmo. My favorite is still likely combat gizmo, but I'm glad I really picked up this guy just because he is part of the whole Gremlins 1. And we really haven't gotten a lot of Mogwais from that line. Really excluding the uh, Series 3 here. Sad Gizmo. I think about the only thing I could say is maybe his eyes could be just a little more brown. They seem just a little too orange. But as a whole, I'm really happy with this figure. I'm going to give him an 8.5. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Mogwai Series 3 figures. We're looking today at Sad Gizmo. It's alright, buddy. It's alright. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.